to fuel an active body, we do need carbohydrate. And these are some examples of items that are carbohydrate rich, but might be good ideas prior to a training or prior to an event because they don't provide the fiber. Now, on a day-to-day -day basis, you do wanna make sure that you're getting plenty of fiber and all the nutrition you can out of your carbohydrates. But that uh, suggestion changes when we wanna make sure that our stomachs and our digestive systems are fairly clear so that we um, are able to do what we need to do activity-wise without any interruptions. And if we look at some of the items here, uh, we might want to consider that somewhere for a snack or a uh, pre-event um, carbohydrate intake, uh, somewhere between 15 and 30 grams might be a good place to start. Now, you can practice that in your training and see if, if more carbohydrate is needed. But these are examples of um, items that uh, we, we can consider what the carbohydrate content is here. If we look at the bagel, again, we're comparing the bagel to a um, just a standard bar of soap. That actually is about a three and a half ounce bagel with 52 grams of carbohydrate. So half of that bagel would be about 26 grams and would probably be plenty prior to um, taking a, a run. Now, if you also want to look calorie-wise, that that's going to give you about 150 calories. So you need to gauge how much you're able to take. And as the farther you are away from an event, the more that you can take in at once because you have time to digest it. Uh, if you look uh, in front of that bagel, we have um, just a small to medium-sized banana, one that would probably be in a you know, standard size hand fingertip to fingertip. And that's going to provide about 26 grams of carbohydrate, and it's just over 100 calories. So that would be, again, something reasonable. A couple grams of fiber, so you have to decide if that banana is something that you can tolerate prior to um, going out uh, for your workout. Now, if you look at pretzels, um, about 24 of these little square pretzels, or about a half a cup, is considered a serving size. Um, 20 five carbs, um, hardly any fiber, and about 120 calories. Also a good salty snack, um, and if you're going to be uh, doing something where you're exerting enough energy to sweat, then um, having something salty is a pretty decent idea. If you look at the uh, Power Bar Recovery Bar, uh, this is something that's going to start um, you know, adding up a little bit more in calories and this has about 30 grams of carbohydrate so this is more intended for something that you would have after an event because the carbs and the calories are higher and you might want to look at um, something like the uh, yogurt that would be a good source of protein but that might be a little bit better after an event this particular yogurt has 180 calories and 31 grams of carb because it's uh, sweetened with uh, sugar so that's okay for fuel and maybe something associated with your workout but uh, some of us would want to watch our sugar a little closer than some others. Um, another thing that's fairly popular are the gel packs. That is something that could be done before an activity or after an activity and this one packet is about 100 calories, about 25 grams of carbohydrate. So again we see that um, we're, we're seeing you know, somewhere in the same ballpark for most of these items. Um, the advantage with something like the gels is that very often now they are adding some electrolytes to that. So you'll get some possibly sodium, potassium that can uh, contribute to the needs that you have during your workout. Uh, and that could be compared to just what a lot of runners like to do is just eat candy, um, something that they can chew on. And you've got to consider here that um, you know, 12 of these dots would be about 140 calories about 35 grams of carbohydrate. So you can compare calorie to calorie, that starts to add up a little bit more, uh, but it might give you a diversion. They're not going to have any electrolytes um, in them, but it might be something different. And then fairly new uh, would be the sport beans. And again, a pack of the sport beans are about 100 calories. They've got electrolytes, some vitamins, and about 25 grams of carbohydrate. So again, their convenience, and I'd probably say that would be a preferred option over just the candy in that you um, do have some vitamins added and you've got the electrolytes which your body needs. If you look at a Gatorade, um, this is a four serving container, every serving being about 50 calories and about 14 grams of carbohydrate. And this would be 
again the provider of the sodium and the potassium as well as the carbohydrate so probably a good fuel source but it's a calorie source and uh, if you're wondering uh, why I have the can of beans here uh, that's just a comparison that whereas the sports beans are you know uh, useful before and during an activity um, they don't have any fiber and that's the value there uh, compared to what you could do um, you know the remaining part of the week is to actually consume regular beans um, half cup of garbanzo beans is 19 carbs and five grams of fiber for only 120 calories so you now there's a big difference there of that being a great um, carb provider but not necessarily something you want to do before an actual event so many different items uh, you got to gear your thoughts towards how many calories are in these things versus how many you know how much am I running if I'm only running a mile or two uh, and I average somewhere between 80 and 120 calories for each mile do I necessarily need to supplement supplement myself with these not necessarily high nutrition foods that are uh, calories and carbs when maybe my ultimate goal for getting into the running is for weight loss. I'm trying to burn calories. I don't want to put them right back in. And these are examples of common running foods that uh, can really pile up on the calories if you're not careful. Uh, so they can be very useful to fuel you. Just make sure that you're uh, burning the calories to be able to afford their use.